Welcome back boys and girls and finally I'm gonna go on my first hunt of the season tomorrow which is September 19th. Now I've been waiting for the temperature to be below 60 in the morning and tomorrow is gonna be the first day. So what is my choice of weapon? Well we still have a lot of greens out there, it's hard to see the deer and when we do see it I need to knock it down with a one shot and I have to be able to get my rifle on the deer as fast as I can. So it's my Browning BRR chambered in 358 Winchester. Now those of you who knows this caliber knows that this thing hits really hard but drop the deer on the spot and since I have the open side below and the scope on top finding the deer really quick is always an easy thing and I probably won't need a second shot but if I do I can tell you right now this lever action is the fastest but honestly I don't expect a lot because we still have cones out there and it's still warm and deers are not moving like they should. Okay tomorrow morning I'm gonna be ready to hunt up on my tree stand by 6.30 and we'll see what happens. Okay I'm going a little late today because I really didn't get a chance to clear the path before the hunt and I usually do it every year but this year it's been nasty hot and I've been quite busy so I didn't get a chance to. So I'm going in a little late with my machete and my rifle and my backpack and I'm going to clear the path as I go in. I just hope there's not a big tree or something like that blocking my way. Let's see. Now 6.42 and I'm ready to The only problem is I made a lot of noise coming in here so I don't know how the day is going to be turned out but we'll see. Yeah, that tells you, you pay when you get lazy. As you can see it is thick out here so I don't have a lot of visibility. At best I have about 60 yards and it's mostly under 40 yards. Let's see. Nowadays I seem to forget a lot of things, so what I don't want to forget, I leave it on the path of my way out, like my machete. That way, there's no way I'm missing. I saw my first scroll. Maybe they might be moving now. It's 734.
so far. It is now 7.40. It's a spike bug. We can't shoot it anyway. It's the end of the season. Well, good thing I waited. Good. But now I have a shot, but I can't shoot. It gets a pass. Man, that was fun. It got my heart pumping and gave me the shakes. Now that's fun. Okay, that was really exciting. The hunt is over. First day, I couldn't ask for more. I got to see the wildlife. It was quiet, it was cool, it's beautiful. I had my rifle on a deer for more than 15 minutes. I had a bad shake, my heart was pumping. Very excited, very fun, but I'm glad I waited. It turned out to be a small spike bug with the velvet sauce. It was kind of hard to see, but waiting really paid off. Because right now it's early, endless, early season. You don't want to shoot anything with the bones on his head. When I finally had the chance to shoot, I confirmed that it was a bug, so I let it pass, and it was a whole lot of fun. And that little fawn sleeping, is still sleeping, even with me talking. And as you know, I'm a meat hunter. When I see a doe and medium-sized deer, I really can't say no, except when I see a fawn with a spots on them. Now, they need their mama more than I do. So if you're a meat hunter, and if it's your mamas with the little babies with the spots, now ones without the spots, they're mature enough, but with the spots, you want to let them pass so that they'll have a better chance to survive and maybe in the future come back as a 10 point buck. You never know. I'm gonna set a few cameras and cut the little branch off, and I'll be done for today.
with this picture we just built this year. You want to remove all the brushes in the front so that it won't trigger the camera. Now I'm gonna go home, have a cup of coffee, and enjoy the day with my wife. Well, I've done everything that I set out to do today, and I'm happy. We have so much thorn bush here, it's almost crazy. When you're using a machete, or chainsaw, or just about anything that's sharp, you want to be very, very careful. In the hospital, you see a lot of people come in for cutting themselves with anything that they work with. When you use a machete, you don't need to make a big swing or a very strong swing. Just enough to cut what you wanted to cut, but not enough to swing, miss, and cut yourself. <laughs> 